What is up guys and welcome back. Right, this video we're going to have two trophies. The first one is going to be the Wounding Tooth and the second one is going to be the Ratings Master. Now there's going to be a, a time link in the description to everything you need to get to if you want to jump to certain locations in the video. But we're going to start off with the Wounding Tooth. Now to get this guy for starters, you have to do the security mission on Muerte East and this will unlock the Troodon. As you can see right over there, the Taming. And now the actual mission can be taken place anywhere, but that's where you unlock it the first time. Introduce this new dinosaur into our park and build a suitable enclosure for it. Now the dig site is going to be well, Central America, a dinosaur, the where more than 80% of my views come from. Thank you very much. Now, Love you guys. This dinosaur interesting to the rest of it's going to be right there. And that Cabot Finch needs to die a horrible death. Can you hear what I'm thinking? Ka -ching, ka -ching. Die. Okay, there we have research available. Once you've done that. Then, we can head to an enclosure that you've built. I highly recommend doing a double fence enclosure because these guys suck when it comes to storms. They're very similar to the Velociraptor in that sense. Now the only thing I'll do differently here is probably only release one goat. Therefore, you only have to watch one of them. I released a couple with the thought of uh, giving it more chance to attack, but it's definitely going to attack the goat, especially if you don't put any other meat down. So release just one. And then go try. ahead and grab your Jeep, which I'm assuming has the original Jurassic Park logos, because why not? Let's skip ahead here. Okay, once you're in there, all you have to do is photograph him when he is attacking the goat. Now, you could be attacking another dinosaur, could be anything, but the easiest one was the goat for me. But you could release any dinosaur if you wanted to. I have a special assignment for you. Now that you have the specimen in a suitable enclosure. So when the nefarious Dr. Wu stops talking, you can go ahead and grab your photograph with one of these guys attacking the goat. Just like so. <laughs> one final shout. I'm pretty sure he has no idea what's happening. Click. And then it is done. Apparently one of the smartest dinosaurs, almost as smart as the Velociraptors, if not more. Alright guys, we're going to head on to the Ratings Master. Now this one took a little bit longer to do than I previously anticipated. Now I do take you through the, all the steps, because there's no point in putting up a one minute video anymore. So I'm going to take you through all the steps I, d I took to get this trophy. For starters, I used the Indominus Rex and gave him the highest rating possible. Now you can just do it with a normal rating, because it cost 12 million to incubate. Um, it'll just take maybe 15-20 minutes longer. So if you've got the cash, do the ratings as high as you can and then release your dinosaur. Now I'm going to show you a little cutaway here quickly. If you want to get the success rate up, because the higher the ratings of the animals you feed him, the more rating he's going to get. So let me just show you quickly, if you go to the Isla Sauna under the science mission, you can get the success rate 3, which is going to be plenty enough if you do that 3 of them on the, uh, on the hatchery. So go grab that if you want to. But the idea here is to release him and then feed him dinosaurs. Now I'm going to take you through the process I took. Like I said before, I'm going to show you the steps I went through. And um, feeding him dinosaurs and getting different amounts of ratings for each one. Now you can use the description again, guys, if you want to skip to the end. And I'll show you which one gives you the most. But this is my storyline. So let's go incubate the Indo. And I'm going to release him right over here and feed him dinosaurs. Now you've got to be careful which ones you do feed him. Uh, the ones that can attack him back, it just creates a bit of a mission. You have to be there and you have to assist him in the battles. But uh, he has the, the fastest attack rate, if you will. Um, he normally gets two or three more hits in per dinosaur attack than the other ones. Sometimes they don't even get a chance to attack. And I absolutely love the uh, camo mod because he changes color to depending on what grassland he's on. And if he stands in front of the grey wall or the brown wall, he'll turn brown like he is there. Okay. But you will I'm see he will go sure backwards and forwards Other than with colors. With fire. An Indominus Rex? You're creating a hybrid. A dangerous hybrid. You're not only creating life, you're condemning it. Hopefully not your own. I agree too, Ian. Okay, so the first one I did was the Triceratops. And this was early days, so I thought maybe I'd have to assist him. So I send the, uh, the Jeep to 
refill the feeder supply so he actually drives to this enclosure on his own what you can do as well is if you want to get a jeep in here and then delete the gate or destroy the gate so you can't get out but for the triceratops was small 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 amount 20 odd for him he seems proud enough though you wait a couple of seconds and the ratings will pop up so that's the gist of it really let me take you through a couple of more dinosaurs that i did the next one being the Ankylodocus. Ankylodocus, Ankylodocus, yeah. Who's got a tail coming out of his left leg. And this was a hybrid. So I thought I would get a lot more than I did for him. I got about 84 rating for this one. Next up, Edmontosaurus. This guy just happened to be in the enclosure. I just love the way he takes him down. Thought I'd leave it in there for the hell of it. But he didn't get much from this rating. But we're going to move on to some of the larger ones now. Let's start with the Bracky. Brutal, the way he takes it down. As you can see, he's now green. It's awesome. But he was green. So yeah, the Bracky gives you about 70, which uh, would take a long time doing that. So I carried on my search. Next up, we tried the Momenchitis, Momenchosaurus, I think it is, Momenchosaurus. And he gave me about 81. Brutal. 81 for him. Then we tried the second, I think it was the second highest one, which is next, the Allosaurus. Which is this fella right here. You can ignore the, the turtle ratings, because I kind of did this in a strange order. Like I was saying, just want to give you an idea of what I went through to get it. But the strategy is pretty clear from the start of the video. He gave me about 114 rating. Then I tried uh, the Indoraptor, but two types. So the first Indoraptor I did was a plain Indoraptor, a non-mod, if you will. And this still gave me way more than any other one. That gave me about 164 give or take a rating or two so that was pretty good then i thought okay well let's try the let's wait for him to finish shouting so yeah i tried a fully modded indoraptor the problem with this is it cost about 15 million or probably more to incubate but it did give me 277 ratings for that one so then i thought okay let's just pump out indoraptors and feed him those because that was clearly the highest amount of rating to get let me show you what i did here so again we're in the enclosure i just did uh oh, where is he there he is there strangely that edmontosaurus survived the entire video can you believe it okay we're on 2000 now so what i did is incubated a whole lot of dinosaurs here at this point i didn't realize the endo was the best and then i had another rating well another hatchery over here at least and over here i was just pumping out more dinos and i would just fly them across and drop them into the enclosure now, if you're going to do the Indoraptor method, which I highly recommend, don't do more than one or two, because they can sometimes attack each other, wasting it. In the end, this was the final battle. And I thought I would show the whole thing, because why not? Awesome game, absolutely love it. I'm thinking seriously about doing some more guides on this, but they're like four or five hours long. I want to do the carnivore one on Pina, and that's going to be up next. But before that, we're going to go back to Metro and do all the good deeds for that game. And there we have it. 5,000 rating. I wear. Bring it. Bing. There it is, guys. Video is done and dusted. If you guys have any questions at all, just ask me. I'm always going to reply. Smash the like button if you're enjoying the content. And subscribe if you're loving it. So I want to say thanks so much for watching. And I want to catch you on the next one.
Transportation is complete. 